happy Saturday, folks. Hope everyone's doing well today. Gonna get back to some more uh, Wheel of Suffering this morning. So let's start, as always, by spinning the wheel. Good morning, Drum. Let me check what light backpacks is. I think this is everyone can only hold one item. Yeah. Something I need to remember to do. Last time we had skill issues, so currently everybody only has one skill equipped. So let me give people their skills back. Oh, mic's a bit low. Here. Um, anybody's even a bit more. Is this a uh, is this a bit better? Let me know if this is better. I can adjust it more if needed. Also, hi Raigana. Hope you're doing well today. Sounds good now. Perfect. I wonder if I ought to get speed plus three on Etia. Maybe I should. Better? Good. Yeah, let's get speed plus three on Etia. Oh, she's already up on ten. Perfect. Oh, and then we have to reduce everyone to one item. Oh, here. Let's actually go to the map and see who's coming, because we only have to do this for the units that are coming to the map, of course. And we can finally get Gold Mary. Oh, I never got the stuff from my doggos? Let's go pick that up. Cannot be missing out on any ore. Howdy, y'all. Hope y'all are doing well today. We're finally going to tackle Chapter 16. I feel like we've been on Chapter 16 for like seven years. But we're finally going to do it. We're going to get Gold Mary. It's going to be good. Erica's here. Woohoo! Finally. I love Erica. All right, let's see who's coming. We're 
We're definitely going to bring Lapis. Okay, you're coming for sure. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. The question is really just, do we want to bring another Archer? Or another Staffer? Because I think these guys have combat covered. I don't necessarily think we need Mage Knight Pendrail. Bring another staffer. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Although we might want this to go back on Lapis. 29, 29. Yeah, let's give Lapis Edelgard. Um, and Marin can have Ike. Sir Ike! Do I want Lin on Ivy? I would appreciate the speed, but... Well, let me look at the map. What are the speed thresholds we want to hit? Because she's at 23 speed. Which doubles some things, but not everything. I think it's probably more important that Ivy doubles than Etia does. So we're going to give Lin to Ivy. Oh, although we also have a sword to hand out. Lynn. Etia can have... I could just give her Hector for more strength. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Chloe Krom is what I want. Hortensia Violet is fine. Lizard Lucina is fine. Could put Camilla on Sadal just for extra Camilla. move on a dancer. Question is just do we want to bring Soren on somebody? Hey, Mercenary. Hope you're doing well today. Here, we'll put it on a uh, screen. Oh, I need to add the challenge to the board. Hold on. One item per unit. Alright, so let's clear everybody's inventory. I really think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna give Clan 11 sword so that Ivy can have that L fire. Physic, but we're probably going to try to keep Hortensia near a Leer so we can swap out her stabs pretty often.
are Camilla and Tiki the only emblems which weren't main characters? Um, Soren also wasn't. Um, I think Veronica is only a main character sometimes. I think it depends on the book. I don't know. I'm not, like, really that caught up with heroes. Yeah, Lucene is not either. That's true. Why only those four? Um... I think when they picked the DLC emblems, because most of those are uh, DLC emblems, they were mostly just picking, like, popular characters that they thought people would buy. <laughs> so they just kind of picked um, fan favorites, I guess. Alright, so we got a couple new units. We got Rosado. Rosado's kind of kind of mid, but we like uh, we like Twin Strike. He's going to be useful this chapter because Twin Strike is a banger. I'm your knight to command. I'm here. Here goes. Hey, Faulty. With perfect poise. Hope you're doing well today. Here we'll throw. Oh, here a convoy. Here we can discard items. Um, we're gonna have this spear on because we're mostly gonna be using. Um, it was foretold. Gold Mary for assists. At least until next chapter, when I can turn her into a mage, as promised. Yeah, I do need to em empty his inventory. Ready I'll, uh, I'll do so before I actually use any of his weapons. Whatever you ask. I am ready to serve. Show me the way. Just curious, what do your hit rates look like? Actually, not that bad. Yeah, really not that bad. Gotcha. She's fine to take a hit from those guys. Of course, we can just bond and shield. Although it's not 100% because uh, Alir is not on a wyvern. Bless the Crobin Ring. All right. All right. 
Do I have a weapon that doesn't weigh you down? Here, take the Fensilier. Oh my god, they were ringmates. True! Thunder guys here, you do 46. Hey Pete, I hope you're doing well today. Consequences of flyers is this guy being kind of annoying, especially because he's a rad bow. Must be nice. Um, hmm. So you would take if you got hit by both. Yeah, we can just do one of these. And then this is most likely okay. Possibly not, because Bonded Shield's only 80% activation. But it's probably okay. Yeah, one item per unit has been a fun one. Uh, we've had it a few times, and I have enjoyed it every time. Interesting. So you do 41 on 23 speed. Yeah, she can kill this guy. How do I afford the second seals? Well, we played um, the DLC, so we have the silver card, uh, which has made uh, which has made our heavy reclassing a lot more affordable. <laughs> Lapis has been really fun this run. I'm glad that uh, we decided to use her, because I have quite enjoyed uh, having her around. 
Oh, is bolting the only tome he has at uh, level one? That's funny. I'm here, Divine One. Alright, Rally Spectrum. We like Rally Spectrum for sure. Another uh, speed taker stack on Ivy here. Why did they make Old Mary and Rosado so underwhelming? Yeah, they don't feel great. I feel like Gold Mary at least has like some stuff she can do. Rosado can do like some random filler stuff, but yeah, they don't feel great. Rosado's purple hair looking kind of nice. Or not Rosado, Sea Doll. Different characters. Does the emblem mechanic change the game? Yeah, I would say the the emblems are a pretty big deal. Definitely change how you approach most maps. Taking the fracture out because I may want that to deal with the um the dragon.
Don't worry, I'm fun. To the death. Park her on the fort to get a little healing. Excuse me. Yep, then we can get seed all caught right back up. No problemo. But oh, thank you. Wait, oh, he sucks the... <laughs> I didn't realize he had the thing that makes the meter go down. What a bummer. Johnny's enemy from three houses. Um, they don't like they don't really work quite like the three houses ones. Um, be besides that, they're really big. Um, honestly, the the bosses in this game are closer to the three houses giants because they have the multiple health bars. Ooh, only fifty nine. I don't love that hit rate. We'll get Marty moving towards us, which we want. lemon soup. Yeah, I don't think there's any big enemies with multiple health bars in this one. If there are if there are, I can't think of them. I forget. We're going to get reinforcements here at some point. Oh, you're right. The Chapter 24 Corrupted Worms do have multiple health bars. Uh, you are absolutely correct. Oh, well, hi, Jennifer. Hi, Devin. Hope y'all are doing well today. Oh my god. I keep forgetting that he sucks some of your engage meter away. No mistake. I think it's fine. But I should stop forgetting that.
Ooh, I wonder if, um... I wasn't really thinking about this. But I wonder if we could end the map this turn. Boss is pretty close by. We have Byleth. We might be able to end the map this turn? Not out of the question. Let's find out. Yeah, we could probably end the map this turn. I should have done this first for the uh, debuff, but it's fine. I don't think it matters. Yeah, because we have... Ivy's gonna take most of the health bar, then Lapis can... Or La yeah, then Lapis can finish it off, and then... Um, Worst case scenario, we can take two turns with Lapis. Uh, I think I'll try to give the kill to Ivy, though, if I can. They're strong. Raging Storm is crazy. It was crazy in three houses, and then they were like, let's just do I that shit again. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty, um, pretty, pretty good clear. I was happy with that. That bolting was more impactful than I thought. I knew it was going to make, um, Marnie move. I wasn't sure that it was going to make Mavier move. The Illusion soldiers have fled. Marnie and Maviert. Yeah, they were really just like the Edelgard emblem is about taking eight turns in a row. Not that I'm complaining. I like taking eight turns in a row. We're a family company. I don't think any of the uh, designs in... The designs in Engage aren't, like, too crazy, are they? Like, the most revealing designs are probably, like, the Sage and the Warrior outfit. And that's the same for both genders. Expert book, God bless. You're just in time for Sage Gold Mary, true. You are in time for Sage Gold Mary, as promised.
Phew! Excuse me. Here, let's do a five-star well pull. Thank you. I'm very sneezy today, apparently. Uh, do I currently own a second seal, or do I need to go buy one? Let me check. I need to buy one. The thing that bothers you about Sage is the weird cutouts for the legs. Well, here we're gonna make we're gonna make Gold Mary a Sage, and then I will I will observe the outfit and give you my my review. What's my current fastest route to Tomes? Oh, it takes so long to get magic proficiency. Do you give Tome prop? You don't, right? Is that really the quickest I can get to Tome Prop? It's level 15. I think so, right? And it's fine. We have the bomb frags. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, you know what, though? Gold Mary and, uh... Gold Mary and Sorin have funny bond conversations, so it'll be worth it. Gold Mary, humble soldier of Illusia. I am Sorin. Sorry that you stood no Words. chance. My performance in battle improves with praise. Please be thorough and effusive. I'd rather gauge your performance without any praise and adjust our strategy accordingly. Yeah, I don't know why they seemingly didn't want you to have tomes for a long time. Like, if you don't have DLC, there's a huge part of the mid-game where you just don't have access to tome prof. Apologies in advance for the devastation. I am Soren of the Grail Mercenaries. <laughs> I'm sorry that you stood no chance. I understand if my charm overwhelms you, Soren, but there's no need to lash out over it. Clearly, there's been a misunderstanding. Anyway, that's the smoothest we've had a map go in a while. I'm trying to think the last time we got out of a map in, um... Under an hour. <laughs> Probably Ike Paralog. That one didn't take that long. Gold Mary, humble soldier of Illusia. I am Soren. Your tactics worked. I'm sorry that you stood no chance. You tell him, Gold Mary. Alright, and we need to have them do that one more time, I think. Ugh, so many bond frags, and for what? Prepare to be awestruck. I am Soren of the Grail Mercenaries.
Okay. Is everybody happy? We have Sage Goldberry now. Perfection. <laughs> She'd be perfection in any class, though, let's be real. I'm Lapis, a royal soldier of Rhodia. I am Boucheron! Royal Knight of Firene. You're going down. A more experienced warrior, one out. Thanks for the sparring match. I won't let this chance go to Sage waste. didn't show so much skin. It's I don't really like Rodian Prince who isn't. Like, I don't really care that the Sage yeah, outfit incredible. shows um, Such skin Thanks for or whatever. Match. I do wish that they had a different one for, like, uh, Jean and Anna, because it feels very weird putting them into Sage. Yeah. We can give Fogato a level. Pogato here, captain of the Sentinels. Better be ready. I'll show you how determined I can be. Um, but overall, I don't think, um... I feel, I don't feel like Engage went, like, too crazy with the, um... Like, sexy class designs. There's really just a few. Alright. Before I do the rest of my preps, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Oh, you guys can see my spreadsheet. Oh, this is so sad. I knew this was going to happen eventually. It's just a bummer that it happened right after I got an expert book. Uh, no hoarding. Uh, is good for the next map, but bad for me right now. Uh, which is, I have to drop all of my, uh, skill books and any stat boosters I have on hand. I wasn't gonna use some of these anyway, because I wasn't using the DLC ones, but we do have about, like, 2,500 SP worth of skill books that I'm losing here. Very sad. Talisman, too. I didn't realize I had that talisman. And a spirit dust. Oh, I'm actually sad to lose the spirit dust. I don't really care about the talisman, but I am sad to lose the spirit dust. Uh, no hoarding. Um, hoarding is when you um, hold on to items instead of using them. Um... So the no hoarding one means you can't, uh, I can't hoard. I have to drop everything I hoarded. Goodbye, skill books. Goodbye, stat boosters. You were nice while you lasted.
Here, we'll make the cod dip. With, uh, rare fish. Rare cod. I'd rather eat than cook, but I'll do my best. So if I put this here... What a picturesque dish! It came out so well. I wish I could eat it myself. I'd like to feed some to my wolf, if that's okay. Lovely. Ooh, speed better. plus three. Thank you, Chloe. Chloe, don't put anything weird in the food, please. Chloe would never. Okay, maybe she would. <laughs> Alright, let me check. Um, okay, Clan has 3,000 SP. That's good. So we can go ahead and get him Gentility. Uh, that's what I was hoping to do with the skill books. I wanted to get Gentility on a couple units. But, um... Marin will have to wait, but we can get it on Clan now. Steward of the Divine Dragon. Erica, Princess of Renee. I'd Ready just like to say Gentility is so cool for being like Bond level 3. Oh, Don't have to spend any Bond victory. frags on it, really. Okay, the other thing we're gonna do is Gold Mary is 100% a staffer. So we're gonna get her some skills to help her with staffing. But to do that, we need to hand her a tome. <laughs> Next time, spam all the books and stat boosters before spinning. I feel like that feels like against the spirit of things, right? Like, if I do that, then it never does anything. Oh, what am I getting for you? Ah, yes. Um, let me check what your luck is. Not particularly great. I want Divine Pulse or Staff Mastery. You like a 42% chance on misses. Let's just do Divine Pulse. That's fine. Oh, but he, she has to get up to level 5. Actually, Clan needs to get up to level 5 with um, Erica, too, because you have to get up to 5 for inheritance. I'll be your partner. I am Erica. Welcome. Oh, the lingering taste of victory. Yeah, Gentility is my favorite of the, like, skills that just what? add damage. Devastation. No need to be shy. <laughs> Sorry that you stood no chance. Look, I feel like you guys are being a little weird about the, uh, um, the, the women wearing revealing clothes. It's not that bad in this game. And we cannot blame Goldberry for it because we did that. We, we put her in this outfit.
Alright, so we did that, and we need to get gentility on clan. So let's pick that up. Oh, actually, we can get it on Marin. She's got 2,000 SP. Yeah, let's pick that up on Marin, too. God bless. Oh god. Baron was really upset Thank with Erica, apparently. I absolutely adore unusual. Do monsters count? We have bone wall. I do feel like one thing this game could have worked on is the, the UX a little bit. It feels very annoying to, like, grind bond, inherit, and uh, put on a skill. It doesn't feel like it should be as much of a pain as it is. And then for Gold Mary, or not items, uh, skills. Divine Pulse, and we'll eventually upgrade that to Divine Pulse Plus. How does class change in this game work? Um, you can class change at pretty much any time using a second seal. Um... Which, you can get a lot of, they just cost money. Um, uh, presuming that you have the proficiencies needed for the class. So, like, the reason we had Gold Mary fight Soren a lot was that in order to reclass her into Sage, she needs to be proficient in Tomes and Staves. Uh, and then she could reclass. I also appreciate that you can see everything about an enemy by just hovering over them with the cursor. Here's actually, here's a, um, a pet peeve of mine with uh, GBA ROM hacks. <laughs> I feel like a lot of um, GBA ROM hacks go like a little crazy with the skills when like the game, the UI of the game is like not really built for it. So you have to like tab into every enemy just to like read their skills, which isn't yet. a problem in this game or in the 3DS era because it's just in the UI, right? Like you hover the unit, you can see the skills, but some ROM hacks aren't like that and it annoys me. Uh, this isn't to say you should never use skills, but I don't know. From Sometimes every point, enemy has a different heaven. skill and it annoys me. That's right. All right, let's give, uh, let's do our inventories real quick. Also, let me update the, uh,
15 strength Alira's rough. Alira's a weenie. This is why um, I don't usually use him as like a combat unit. My staffers can finally have multiple staffs again. What a joyous occasion. Hey, Cosmic Drift. Well, in 3DS, I don't have a problem with skills. Because in 3DS, the interface is, like, built to accommodate them, right? Like, you hover over an enemy, you can see what skills they have, and you can just tap them to see a description. The reason they annoy me in some GBA ROM hacks is because you can't just see them when you hover an enemy. You have to, like, press R, go into their stats, and then see their skills. Which doesn't sound like a big deal, but I don't like that I have to do it, like, for, like, if a map has, like, 30 enemies, I have to do that 30 times. Uh, and it annoys me. <laughs> Um, but like in 3DS and onwards, where the user interface is built to accommodate skills, um, I don't have any problem with them. Let's buy Goldberry some staves. Yeah, I would agree well-designed ROM hacks, you know, are able to get around this in a number of ways, but unfortunately, like, <laughs> you know... Not all ROM hacks, I think, are designed well around skills, and some are. So it's like a, you know, a bit of a mix. Alright, we'll take a mend. We already have Obstruct. Do we need anything else on her? Oh, I'll grab a warp, why not? Send these guys up to kill these guys and bait down. Uh, Chris is just going to teleport down and we'll whack him. Oh, why is Rosado here? Sorry, Rosado, you're not on the team.
Lady Erica. Yeah, this seems fine. I hear you. I'm listening. Anytime. I'm surprised Ivy can't one-shot that. She probably can with a leader buff. Yeah, Veronica is from Epi Heroes. Nice. Whatever you say. Oh yeah, we can get Goldberry her first kill as a sage. Good for her. All right. Uh, I am ready to serve. Yeah, that's fine. Six on our side, six on yours. So they say, and yet here we are with our you know, with our bracelets. They were not prepared for a different type of jewelry. Oh, I could have positioned this a little better, but it's fine. Start getting that speed taker stacking up. Alright, what's the deal with you guys? 47 attack. So the man you would do. Cut that at the end. Like, yeah. This should be fine. Very well. The stage is mine. Mary still has 18 defenses as Sage. Yup, and like 11 magic. <laughs> yeah, 11 magic. Understood. Where to? I'll do as you command. Good job, Baron. Oh, she can quite kill. Not that good of a job, Baron. Okay job. Can anyone with a uh, canter do this kill? Oh, he has two health bars anyway. He is not ready for Lapis. Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, I would say the game is definitely not balanced around you having more rings and also uh, getting a bunch of extra levels. <laughs> I wish there was a... I've been saying this since the, the game came... This, since the DLC came out. But I wish there was a way to, um... What do we do with computer? Is a mold being supported? Maybe. No, maybe not. Um, I wish that you could, like... At the beginning of a run, instead of having to, uh... Play the DLC maps or whatever... Um, I wish you could just, like, select which rings you want to use. Or, or, like, randomize them, maybe, would also be fun. Here you do it. Thank you. Get that speed taker stack. Uh, this is the highest difficulty. Although with um, with the DLC rings, it, I, it's a lot easier. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, the Edelgard bracelet is insane. Like, it's a, uh, it is ridiculous. I can keep going. Like, I might go so far as to say one of the strongest items they've ever put in a Fire Emblem game? Maybe? It's pretty good. What are the other, like, candidates for strongest items in a Fire Emblem game? Mo mostly looking at items that are around for more than, like, two seconds. Um, Amir is pretty strong in three houses. That's Understood. a pretty good item. This is okay. I, I did the math very quickly in my head, so hopefully I was not incorrect, but I think this is fine.
Yeah, Rajinto is good. Durandal's very good. And Durandal is cool because it's around for so long, too. You get that shit pretty early. What level of holdout is she on now? 20% or more? said how the engaged weapons are really weak compared to the forged ones. Yeah, there are a few good engaged weapons, but I do wish there were more of them. It is a little disappointing, I would say. Now watch as Lapis takes four turns in a row. Yeah, I mean, you do get to upgrade one. One or I, They give you a little bit of the upgrade currency for free now. Um, it's not like a ton, but it's enough to upgrade uh, one or two of the engaged weapons.
Um, and those one or two upgrades can be pretty impactful. Like, Seraphim is a uh, pretty good if you uh, spend your upgrade on it. I thought, um, oh, hold on, hold on. It might be fine. I think we can reposition. Yeah. I thought, uh, Alir had one more space of move. Uh, but fortunately we can acquire one more space of move for Alir. Stabs are awesome at Engage, it's true. That's why I wasn't, um... That, uh... That's why it didn't bother me when you guys wanted me to make, uh, Sage Gold Mary, because I was like, that's fine, she'll just use staves. <laughs> She's a pretty high chance of just killing him. I'm prepared. Yep. Good job. Would have loved a Berserk staff to use on engaged enemies. You would like uh, Thracia if you haven't played it already.
Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I mean, staves are super available in this game. I mean, you can just buy warp. Like, more than one, I believe. have like a shielding art right yeah you can just punch Marin it's fine she'll probably kill you ah she, she might not you have a shielding art but she'll mess you up Frozen Helm, glad you're enjoying the Unicorn Overlord stuff. Yeah, I've been really enjoying that game. It's a pretty fun time. Oh, we might have to finally actually deal with some of these enemies that are coming at us. sure. When we bait this dragon, it might um, cause all of the enemies to start coming. I think it does. Um, so let's see if we can handle that. I think that would be kind of fun. level of con base conquest without someone dying. That's a, um... I remember that being a tricky map because there's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of counter on it, if I remember correctly. Plus a, uh, I think a hexing rod, too? Train, hope you're doing well. Good to see ya.
Dreadful Aura is kind of funny. I like that it just stops them from moving. It's gonna be big, uh... We've set up quite a big override for, uh... Zephia to do. You don't think you would have survived Maddening without Corrin? I used Corrin a lot on my first playthrough, for sure. Then by all means. Oh, because she has the Rider's Bin. Right. I forgot she has a rider's bin. <laughs> That's fine. You know what? Let's um go back. We'll fight the enemies on the left before we uh trigger the um enemies coming down from the uh from the north. Probably a good move for my health. Um, I don't use a ton of core and flame vein um, at this point, but I used it a lot uh, in my first playthrough. Oh, I forgot to move Hortensia. Whoops. Like, I just forgot to move her, right? Like, I could have. Yeah, I just forgot to move her. Sorry, Hortensia. Oh, I also... Wait. I'm a buffoon. I also put Clan in the wrong place, so hopefully he's fine. Yeah, he's fine, because Clan is a monster. But he's not in the Bonded Shield. <laughs> Bit of a, a whoopsie on that one. It's okay, we will simply do it correctly this time.
Um, I would say Pistorius is definitely harder than Elheim. So I would say it's like a... I don't know. The game definitely gets harder when you get to Pistorius, I would say. Lear, your buff will be appreciated. There we go. Alright, now everybody get ready for the last part of the map. Woohoo! What'd you miss? Uh, not too much. We're just making our way through chapter 17. Making our way downtown, walking fast, faces passing them homebound. A classic. I feel like they shouldn't have put so many um, emblem things down here. It feels a little silly that you just get to completely uh, replenish all of your emblems before you go do the last part of the map. Uh, King Hyacinth is in this map, yeah. Now we can take out the dragon and then Zephia will charge the turn after. Doesn't really matter who does the baiting, I don't think. It is funny that Gold Mary can actually get a lot of experience in Sage, especially with Veronica attached. Just by, like, spamming staves and contract and stuff.
All right, so I believe the way that Zephia works is she will always charge through the largest group that she can. Uh, even if she could, like, one-shot a different group. Oh wow, she dodged it, nice. Witness the power of the generic axe fighter. So what I like to do for Zephia is I set up an overcharge for her, or an override, so she'll ride through these two. Uh, and then I make a little box behind uh, to cage her in. <laughs> the Zephia baby cage. I believe, if I remember her AI correctly, she should charge through these two. Yeah. You think you can defeat me? And now Zephia is in gay baby jail. Sometimes end up trapping her with dragon vein ice against a wall. Yeah, it's uh, this is kind of a fun boss to fight. I like that there's lots of ways to trap her. Also, hi Liberty Ernie. Hope you're doing well today. Generic axe fighter is doing his best. Put some. We should put some respect on his name. Yeah, he, he has been pretty useful. He killed a whole wyvern for us. 
Unfortunately, I think he probably doesn't have too much usefulness left in him, but not a bad, uh, you know, not a bad showing. Oh, it's an A rank staff. Uh, oh, so Hortensia can use it, right? Oh no. <laughs> All right, his best was not good enough. All right, not a big deal. Except to not put Hortensia there. Just about anywhere else should be fine. Actually, have perfect. Yes, they give you a lot of time crystal uses. Ten feels like a. Uh, Tremendous amount. I mean, to the point where on my first playthrough, I never really like game over. <laughs> because, like, you get 10 uses. It's so many.
No, oh, actually, this should be uh, Marin. We're gonna want Lapis to go last. Ooh, the hit rate's not good. So hopefully this is fine. It might not be because I didn't bother to check hit rates. <laughs> yeah. Which may have been a wise thing to do. So far, no problems. In fact, Houses Unite might just do it. No, not quite. Oh, but we can do it without having to worry about hit rates, probably. Where's Alir? Oh, we didn't dance yet? Oh, this is easy then. Easy peasy, we're good. I didn't realize that we hadn't danced yet. Oh, what I was going to do, if we had danced, though, um, I was going to move Alir next to Ivy so that the engage attack would do 5 damage. <laughs> because uh, the engage attacks can't miss. But instead, what we're going to do is have Hortensia exist next to Abelgard so that we can house his Unite Plus. Damn, the ring we gave Hyacinth. They snatched it. They're like, damn, we lost Leaf. What are we going to do without Leaf? What? Hey, Ken, Bread. We're definitely Team Lapis this playthrough. We are Team Lapis and Clam. They are popping off. What am I doing? I don't need to go pick things up. It'll do it for me.
this well looks promising. And it is. I would say that was pretty good, pretty good well output. Let's see if the wheel immediately makes me drop them. That would be sad. All right, let's spin the wheel. All right, social distancing. Uh, social distancing is at the end of the turn, my units cannot be adjacent to each other. This was a fun one the last couple times we had it. How do you do? You look nice, as always. Jean is about to get clobbered. Chloe destroying a small child. I will act as your opponent today. It's the second princess of the Illusia, Hortensia. Hortensia. I shall serve as your opponent today. Oh, dear. No, I'm ashamed. I always do my best. Now and in the matches to come. How does a match end? So a match can end in a draw if it just goes on for a really long time. <laughs> Yeah, so usually this happens when you have two units that can only deal like a couple points of damage to each other or two units where the dodge rates are really high. Alright, I gotta think about what I want to do with these skill books because I gotta spend them lest I potentially lose them. Oh, you know what we can do? We gotta get Cantor on a bunch of people now that, uh... Now that Sigurd's back. All right, who needs Cantor? I don't think Marin does at the moment. Ivy, Ivy needs Cantor. We'll get Ivy Cantor. Ivy, Crown Princess of Illusia. I am Sigurd. Prepare yourself. This will do. I suppose. I regret that we could Whenever I get Sigurd back and put Cantor on a bunch of people, I feel like that um the SpongeBob meme of with the with the uh daring today, aren't we? When like half my units are speed plus three Cantor. I 
I swear to a fair and honest challenge. I am Sigurd. You think to duel me? Thank you. I had a lovely time. It's wonderful to meet you. Let's also get her Divine Pulse, because we're mainly using her as a staffer. I'm Citrine, a daughter of Brodian nobility. We'll learn together. Thank you. I had a lovely time. Allies should always work to understand. Who else needs Cantor? Uh, Seedal needs Cantor. Seedal definitely needs Cantor. In fact, it's a pretty big deal on Seedal. I'm Seedal. Let's begin. I am Sigurd. Prepare yourself. Naive! Let's also pick up Divine Pulse on Hortensia. Oh, she already has uh, the rank. Perfect. Alright, let's inherit some skills. Grab Cancer for Ivy. Oh, you already did Divine Pulse on you. That's crazy. Although you currently have Violet, but you probably won't always have Violet. Cantor and Divine Pulse. What a affordable set of skills for your staffers. 1250 and you've got like a nice mobility skill and your staves don't miss. Uh, we're going to want to pick that up on Gold Mary too, I think. of Elugia. I am Sigurd of House Chalfi. I'm sorry that you stood no chance. Please continue to... Everybody gets Cancer. We love Cancer here. And Cancer is going to make our social distancing a lot easier.
let's make a caramel nut cake with some vegetable. I'm pretty good at cooking. I think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I add this, I stir it, I chop it. Wait. It turned out really well. I tell you. That's true. Well, damn, Clam. Good job. I feel weird giving you leftover. Oh, you know what we caught last chapter that we can forge up and engrave? Hmm. We got a Bulganon. Let's just pop that sucker up to plus three. Mm -hmm. Then we'll want to engrave it too. Honestly, maybe with the Sigurd Engrave, going uh, down one weight on it is pretty nice without loot with and gaining might, because that's the thing. A lot of the ones that tick the weight down also tick the might down. Actually, this is hmm. this is going to be the best one for Ivy because it means she'll get crit less too because the plus twenty dodge. You're planning on killing off your non-drafted units, but Clan is your best cook, so he lives very good. Clan narrowly surviving the slaughter for his ability to make mouth-watering dishes. We can get this Elfire on Clan. We'll eventually get a Bulganon on him, too. But I don't think we can well, buy them yet. Or I don't know, can you ever buy bulgs? I'm not sure. Oh, you can! Yeah, we could buy one right Here now. Alright, one for plan two. Take care. Hmm. Forge it up for me, shopkeep lady. And we'll throw a Sigurd Engrave on that one. Hmm. I'll be here. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Um, but I'm gonna have Ivy hold on to the L fire too. Um, because sometimes she might need that to double. But Clam probably won't, because he's fast as fuck, boy. Alright, it is time for the age-old Fire Emblem tradition of boat map. Hey, Wing of Shoe. Hey, Air. Hope you guys are doing well today. A more naval Effie would be fun. I mean, I think that could be cool. I feel like they would get a meme done for the boat maps. I mean, um... Like, Gaiden has boat maps in one part, and it's like all you hear about Gaiden is the boat maps. Alright, I think we can put Sigurd on Etia. We go together.
We're fighting. Yeah, the moving ships in the Fates map were cool. I did like that map. I can fight. I'm honored. 47, 41. Hey, you got strength. Good job, Valir. Devoted to you. I think with Ike, um, Say the word. she should be fine. Where to? The choice is yours. I am ready to serve. I'm trying to think what's my favorite Fire Emblem boat map. I kind of like the Path of Radiance one where you recruit Astrid. Anytime. I think that one's kind of fun. I see a shield gambit available. Alright, pop that killer bow on. Shield gambit. Let's do it. Not eight, yeah, definitely not eight. Um, Ghost Ship is not my favorite. Oh, I actually don't mind this boat map. I think this boat map's kind of fun. Phantom Ship is certainly one of the maps of all time. I'll say that. It is a it is a map that exists, and if you play FE8 on Ephraim Route, you have to do it.
rare critter? to swap Ivy and Hortensia's positions here. Because what we want to do is just recruit Linden the same turn we end the map. Hey, Shark. I was just saying I like this map. Uh, we were talking about what the um, the best boat maps in uh, Fire Emblem are, and I was saying I actually think this one's pretty good. Perhaps not the best boat map of all time. But a pretty going. good boat map, I would say. I follow the rules here. I'm your knight to command. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy your uh, one last thing you got to get done this afternoon. Thanks for popping by. want to make sure we get this uh, speed wing. It's not like the end of the world if we don't, but I'd prefer it if we did. Three Houses I don't think has any map where you start on a boat. It does have maps with boats in them. Like, I remember the, um, the Shamir Alois Paralog has a boat in it. think she would get one shot. <laughs> Alright, my bad. My bad, Etia.
No, Etia is not known for being sturdy, this is true. I didn't mean to skip the whole thing. Marin has been a uh, has been fantastic this Must playthrough. Keep my cool. For the divine dragon. Three Houses has only a couple memorable maps. Three Houses has, like, a few good ones to me. I like, um... And Grander Field 1 is pretty good. Or no, um... Actually, I like Grander Field 1 and 2. And Grander Field 2 is better. But, um... I like Grander Field 1 and 2. I find them both fairly memorable. Alright, so... Oh my god, this guy's got 43 magic attack. My goodness. This is kind of a mess. And I forgot to pack a, um... Vuln for Marin, so we may actually have to give up on the, um... Speedwing, because she can't safely get it. Which is a bummer, but it is what it is. Yeah, I just think even if she hits the crit, I think she's gonna die on enemy phase.
I love Soren's tomes. Um, the uh, bolting is so fun to use. Can we? I can still do this. Uh, I'm okay. How much do you actually take from this guy? Ooh, he only has a thirty. She only has a thirty-six percent chance of hitting. That's not bad. We can work with that. Yeah, I actually think we're probably okay. Yeah, it is kind of random that uh, a beam comes back. I don't really know why that happened. Ah yes, classic Gold Mary Sage doing zero damage. Yeah, unlimited use bolting is really fun. I When I did the last um, DLC playthrough that I did on stream, I abused the hell out of that. Okay, so even if she misses with Raging Storm, it's probably okay. Oh, okay. Or she could just crit with it. Easy peasy. Nice little four turn. I'm pretty happy with that.
Illusia is in sight. Yeah, yeah. Bolting does seem hard to use at first because of the accuracy, but like, just put a couple supports next to whoever your bolting user is, and they'll they'll have like you know, usually like seventy plus hit rate. I mean, we haven't done anything in Citrine pretty frequently, is in like the 60s, 70s range in this playthrough. So, and we're not even really using Citrine. I mean, we're using her, but she doesn't have like we're not giving her levels. got for us well oh no expert book bummer all right that's the most chapters we've gotten through in a while i think that's where we're gonna call it for today um, I was thinking about playing some Unicorn Overlord, but I don't know if I'm feeling up to, like, a uh, four or five hour stream today. But I will try to schedule a Unicorn Overlord stream sometime this week, because uh, I do want to finish that playthrough, and we're getting towards the end of it. But um, thanks for hanging out, everybody. If you like Soren, you know, there might be a video for you tomorrow relating to him, so check that out if you want. Other than that, we'll have uh, FE4 on Tuesday. Uh, and we'll certainly have this next Saturday and probably a Unicorn Overlord stream sometime next week as well. So thanks everyone for hanging out and hope you have a lovely week.